we work with existing technology wherever we can. So mm -hmm. if language technology exists, we're not going to build it again. But in many cases, especially for the most marginalized people, they speak languages that aren't well supported by commercial software. We spend time understanding how we can quickly build language technology for those languages, often with very little data available. So often we have to create the data, which is another context where we want to mobilize our community to help us create data more quickly for these languages. We build core technology for voice recognition, for the underlying machinery for chatbots, as well as machine translation, which we continue to work on. At the same time, we're also looking at not just building the engines, but actually building applications. So opening up mm. channels of communication in those languages. And so it's a, a multi-layer thing. There are amazing networks now of so much expertise, especially in sub-Saharan Africa. There's a network called Masakane. We're collaborating with them, developing expertise, working with local experts and often researchers or young students who are doing their masters or their PhDs in these areas and helping them also understand where their technology can be used to have social impact. So it's a very collaborative environment. The research is really around those key three areas in low resource languages. We also work with big tech, with Google and Microsoft and Amazon and Facebook and others on open source collaborative efforts to drive more availability of technology for low resource languages.